Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today, uh, we feel like making love by uh, Roberta Flack. That's it. That's the chord pattern for the whole song. It's a bit long, but, uh, but that's what you got. So let's go over these chords. Uh, first thing you need is F minor 7. You can use any F minor 7 you want, really. The one I chose is you're going to borrow the 1st fret, 5th string, 3rd fret. That's my chord, okay? Let me give you the strum pattern right away so you can get started. Uh, you know, I vary it with all the chikas and stuff, but down. I'll just release the pressure, that's the, that stuff you hear. You know, stuff like that. Uh, I won't go into detail exactly when to lift up. I, I just do it by feel and stuff. So uh, if you really need that, maybe we could do a tutorial on it, or maybe um, uh, I could do another video. But uh, it'll just take forever to figure out where those scratches come in. I, I, do, I definitely do them at the end. The last two down ups, that happens a lot when I play. So, I definitely release the pressure. I don't play all those strums that way. So, okay, so that's the F minor seven, your second chord. Same strum pattern, it's a B flat. 7 sus 4. You're going to bar the whole 6th fret this time and you can leave this 3rd finger down, 5th uh, string 8th fret and then add your pinky on the 3rd string 8th fret. So when you're coming up you just it's the same one, you release the pressure, you move it up, add your pinky, that's it. B flat 7 sus 4. Then I need an E flat major 7. So I'm going to move right over uh, I'm going to bar the five strings at the sixth fret. Uh, my middle finger is going on the third string, seventh fret, uh, fourth string, eighth fret, pinky on the second string, eighth fret. I end up muting the sixth string with the tip of my finger. All right, and then we got this is where it changes. This is a uh, next chord is a D flat seven, D flat seven to C seven. So it's the same shape. 2nd uh, string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 4th fret. Did I say that right? Alright, let's start again. 5th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, no. <laughs> oh man, I can't get this straight. 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, and then the 3rd string, 4th fret with the pinky. I can see why the other guys that do tutorials, they don't bother with fingerings. Um, it's so mixed. Anyway, so you do that. All you're going to do is move everybody back a half step. So it's a C7 chord, it's your next chord. So you just move everybody back. So it ends up being the 5th string 3rd, 4th string 2nd, 3rd string 3rd, 2nd string 1st. And I'm muting the outside strings when I'm playing. And um, what I do is on the D flat 7, I do a down, down, and then I go to the C7 and go down, 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 down. So down, 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 down. And I'll, I'll do some chickas in there, so. Okay, and then you're back to the F minor 7. change. Okay, so this is where it changes to an A7 flat 5. That's the 6th string, 5th fret, 4th string, 5th uh, fret, 3rd uh, string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret. 
Okay, so it's a difficult one. And then you're going to go to an A flat major 7. Uh, sixth string, fourth fret, second string, fourth fret, uh, fourth and third string at the fifth fret. You're going to end up muting the fifth and the first string. All right, then you got a G minor 7. You're going to bar the whole third fret, fifth string, fifth fret. Back to the F, uh, F minor 7. So it's the same exact shape, you're just moving it back, and you've already learned that chord. Then uh, you could go all the way up to the 8th fret, same exact chord. So you bar in the 8th fret, 5th string, 10th fret. That's a C minor 7, so your next chord. Okay? You could do this C minor 7 if you want, you know, if you, if you know that one. You're barring the 3rd fret, 5 strings, 4th string, 4th fret, uh, no, 2nd string, 4th fret, 4th string, 5th fret. That's, that's another one that I, I went back and forth, like which one should I play, which one works best with the song. And they both worked just as well, I, I couldn't figure it out, so I don't think it's a problem. Okay, then you're back to the A flat major 7, remember this one? To the G minor 7 again. Then the D flat 7. You already learned this chord, but this time it's the long strum pattern, it's a whole measure on that chord. Minor seven, you just hit it once and let it ring for two beats. Uh, you could go up to that C minor seven, doesn't matter. I think when I performed it at the beginning of the video, I went up to this one like that, but you could go to that one, it doesn't matter. C minor seven. Uh, there'll be a chart of this with all my chords um, that you can look at too. Uh, if you just, uh, there's a, there'll be a link for it, okay? So, uh, in case you need it, it's, it helps to look at these things. Then, band does that little riff and then they hold it for four beats so that is an E flat 7 to an E 7 to an F 7 it's the same exact shape it's the same shape you did for the D flat 7 to the C 7 uh, you just you're at the second string fourth fret fourth string fifth fret fifth string sixth fret pinky goes on the third string sixth fret mute the outside strings and you just hit it once so 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, so it's E flat 7, E7 e seven to F7, okay? And then you hold it, and then you're back. C minor 7 right there instead of up there. So I did a little differently so you could see the difference. Uh, it doesn't make much difference. It's, but you're closer here if you're more comfortable, but you already have that shape down, so that one's just as easy. So, all right, I hope that was uh, clear enough. I don't know. I, I know some people want me to sing along with these videos, but they haven't heard me sing, have they? So, uh, better to focus on the guitar parts, in my opinion. Um, all right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and play more guitar.